It keeps happening! As today, we return back to Vox Akama with Niji Sanji English, and also with Niji En, Mr. Rias. Two very good friends as part of the Luxium Wave, seen together in this killer artwork by Beef. But once again, we are back to overseas viewers demanding an apology from Vox. That on the behalf of Mista. And for some context here, we have Vox told Mista that the video is copyrighted free, but it isn't, and he got so mad. And for more clarification, it's not too serious, and Mista will be fine, but Mista watched the Luxium six-month compilation on stream, but did not know it had copyrighted music. Apparently, Vox told him it's okay to watch it since it's copyright free. Let's take a look at that exchange. I, I watched um, this clip that they the, 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 the fans made called like Six Months of Luxium, and it begins with oh, the yeah. clip from the debut, and it was like, whoa. I haven't watched that video yet, actually. So. It's really good. Yeah. I think um, you know, obviously, either watch it in private or on stream, but like, it's a uh, it's a super cute video. And I'm pretty sure it's like all they, they took out copyrighted music so you can actually like have it on the um, oh. on stream as well. So you don't have to worry about doing a watch along. Oh, nice. Wait, did you watch it on stream? Without? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If anyone worked on this project or if anyone has seen this video, um, does it have copyrighted music? It does. It does. Okay, fair enough. Should we do a little watch along? That then leading to this moment on Mr.'s 900,000 subscriber stream. Bro, bro, Vox. Okay, listen. What? I'm gonna fucking kill Vox. Like, where's it? All right, listen. Guys, Vox said he watched this on stream and it was copyright free. Bro, there is no way I am not getting in trouble with staff after this. There is no possible way. Because I know, I know that staff is watching the stream because they messaged me before my stream to congratulate. So I know. So I know I'm gonna get in fucking trouble. I know. Dude, the amount of like copyrighted things in there is uh, like not the music, like the images and the like TV shows. And this is where the confusion began. These comments leading to fallout. Complete with this breakdown, a Luxium fan made video didn't add the copyright warning. Vox did a watch along on his 1 million subscriber stream watching this vid with chat. During Vox's six hour Minecraft stream, Mr. came in, had a little talk. Vox recommended that vid. The clipper still hadn't added copyright notes, so Vox told Mr. that the music was not copyrighted. Mr. watched the vid directly on his 900,000 sub stream. And then when Mr.'s mainland China fans had clipped Mr. complaining there, there were then actually accusations that Vox was destroying Mr. Streams and even his career. This leading to thousands of Niji EN audience viewers in China on social media insisting that Vox should take responsibility for Mista and they wanted Vox to graduate immediately. This now leading to Mista to directly address this on stream. Basically, I got a super chat. Um, basically it said, uh, just want to tell you, uh, people in another country don't get you joking. Uh, don't get you jokingly saying it's Vox's fault for the copy copyrighted video, so they started attacking Vox. Thousands of people are shitting on him because of this. Okay, so I just want to say, this is a good time to mention this, right? I'm not going to stay on this for too long. This is too, this will, this will be quick. All right, this is, this seems to be a common trend with, um, uh, with, with, like, people who don't speak English very well, who watch people, like, in Niji Sanji EN stream. I'm, I'm trying to word this very carefully here, obviously. Um, where what will happen is they'll hear something, or it will be translated really, really wrong and then they'll believe it as fact immediately. Now, if you're listening and you do that, can I please ask you to please, if, if you see, if you, if you don't speak, like, very fluent English, right, please don't just assume that the translated clip you're watching is the immediate truth of what someone has said. There can be mistranslations. There can be, like, sarcasm is very hard to come across, especially, and I I am very sarcastic. If, and I've never agreed with, oh, one, uh, one person done this one thing wrong, therefore Therefore, I will start attacking them. Dude, you're not a fan. If you do that, you're not my fan. Don't do that just because that you don't understand a joke or anything. Like, th no, what's the actual reason for doing that? Maybe if you had concrete, like, reason to attack someone, like, because they did, like, a mass murder or something. Like, oh, wow. Okay, now I understand. But what? Because I made a joke that, like, I, I was being sarcastic. I was like, oh, I'm going to come to your house. I said, I'm going to come to your house, Vox. I know where you live. I'm going to come there. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to strangle you. Like, bro, obviously I'm joking. Yes, you heard heard it here first, Mr. Rias has now directly threatened Vox Akuma, saying he intends to strangle him. And obviously there has been stuff lost in translation, you know? So like, I can't be super mad at the- there's- I'm, I want to make this very clear. I am not mad at the fact that there is stuff lost in translation. I could just say- I could just go, man, I- I hate Rosamy.
fucking hate Rosamy. You heard it. You heard it here first. Mr. Rias is now on record saying he hates Rosamy Lovelock, also of Niji Sanji English. Mr. Had this update saying, hey, yo, I'm going to be canceling Sunday's stream as well. I won't go into detail, but I don't really think it's wise for me to stream the rest of this week. Love you all. This as Mr. Has now crossed 1 million followers on Twitter.com and also commenting, hearing from staff, they watch and enjoy my streams always surprises me. And that's not all for Luxium, as that wave will also be joining the more recently debuted Volt Action, or is that Voltation? Participating in AGF 2022, promising all new goods and a special exhibition. This while we have other collabs being announced by Niji Sanji, including this Fila Cross Axia Crone collaboration. Yes, brand new merchandise and goods are now available for this Eden Gumi member, who is currently on an indefinite hiatus due to being harassed on his own streams and in collaboration streams. This while the Niji Sanji English account is also making us aware, saying caution regarding unofficial illegal goods. We have confirmed that a website is selling pirated products using the visuals of our liver and falsely claiming that their products are authorized by the illustrator. Saying further, we've confirmed that a website is selling pirated products using the visuals of Albin Knox, Sunny Briscoe, Uki Violetta, Hugo Asuma, and Folger Ovid. Those, of course, being the five members of the Noctix group. Niji Sanji saying, neither our company nor the illustrator have authorized the production or sale of these products. Any product that has not been announced on our official Twitter is a pirated product, so please avoid purchasing such products. We are currently taking action to stop the sale of such pirated products. And speaking of Sonny Briscoe, he recently took to stream, providing impressions of every single Niji Sanji English member. That then leading to an interesting reaction from Niji En's Millie Parfait, saying of Sonny, why is this man talented? I want him to peg me. Then going on to correct herself, implying she instead meant to write, I want him to pog me. This garnering the reaction from not only fans, but also unofficial number one mom of Niji En, Nino Kosaka, and others pointing out just how far apart the O and E keys are on a typical keyboard. Next up, we have Enna Alouette, good friend of Millie, taking to Twitter to say, what in the actual? And also, God is so unfair, I really hate this world sometimes. Then a reaction to Petra Gurren, Niji En's penguin learning to stream, now finally revealing her brand new outfit, saying thank you so much for coming to my outfit reveal. I now have hands and bread, and I couldn't be happier. Yes, that's right. We now officially have seen Petra Gurren's hands and uh, <coughs> bread. And a further would say, she's here, she's here. She is so gorgeous. I don't think I'm 100% straight, not gonna lie. With Vox Akuma giving us the full Jeb experience and referring back to his tier listing, acknowledging she can now wield a gun. Receiving a direct reply from Petra saying, that's right. Finana Ryugu would simply tweet out, ah! and claiming this five-star gotcha pool design is Niji rigged. Noctix's Yugo Asuma would reply, the thighs, and it would further say, God plays favorites. That is, Petra would go on stream and show off the height difference between her old design and her new look, leading to Shu Yamino to say, you versus the penguin, they told you not to worry about. And Ike Evelyn giving us that, excuse me, she asked for no pickles meme. And yes, she does have the short-haired look here too, leading Millie to also say, if Petra gets boobs, I will be hopeful too. And a replying, no God hates you and he loathes me. This while Millie was in the stream telling Petra to move left and right and leading to other artists to say, I don't care how big it is, I'm still gonna draw it flat. Nina would also notice the boing boing while eventually Enna would say, bestie, I'm so proud but it hurts. And today is the happiest day of my life and also the saddest. This reveal gaining the interest not only from Amelie but also Vienna saying Petra so beautiful and cute. Oh my god, long hair Petra, let's go. Yes, the differences between these talents is certainly growing. Echoed here by Iris at Coco Mimi. This while Anna's very own character illustrator, KT Mama, would quickly post this and say, Bread, please give it to us. And next we turn to Virtual Reels Karan, part of Niji Sanji's Chinese branch and a demon VTuber coming to us with brand new Petra artwork, saying Drew promo art for my dear waifu Petra Gurren, her new 
outfit is just like unbelievably gorgeous. The gotcha scene is also cute. Love you, my waifu. Thank you so much for commissioning me. And adding, by the way, she told me to make her boobs more obvious. I tried my best. Receiving back a thank you so much again, Karan, from Petra. I've always wanted to commission art from you, so this was a dream come true. I love you so much. Please let me commission you again. With Niji Sanji English's Alira Pandora simply tweeting out illegible sounds that read more like the wild howls of an animal. Further along also with the Obsidia Wave, we have Rosami Lovelock. Yes, that's right. The Rosami Lovelock, who Mr. Rias absolutely hates, as captured in that audio before. He said it, so it must be true. Replying, how come Petra gets big bazonkers? And also showing off her new outfit reveal tonight, stating further, this feels so crazy since we waited so long to show you guys our outfit. I've been waiting for months to show you how nice and sparkly my new outfit is, so I'm getting emotional, saying, Petra, you are so beautiful, I am on the floor. And further, every night before bed, I look at my new outfit. Also receiving upgrades with Niji Sanji is Oliver Evans. Earlier today, showing off his brand new 3D model, being visited on stream by Niji Sanji English members, including the Luxium Lads, and the other members of Eden Gumi who also have 3D models, that being Leo's Vincent and Lane Patterson. Then finishing up his stream with the Labouf Just Do It meme, as Mika Melatika would say, new motivational banner alone. Alert. And oh, hey, would you look at that? Someone is now following Rosami Lovelock. That's right, it's Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara with the Annie Plus Cafe going out of their way, diving further into the KFP theming, complete with the on brand messaging, leading to Kiara to say, oh, is this where they give out the food? Thank you, it's wonderful. This as we very quickly check in with Hall Live Indonesia's Irani EO15, tweeting out can't sleep, and then taking up Millie Parfait on her offer to cuddle. And next up, we have Hall Live. English's Nanashi Mume before her one year anniversary stream saying I'm so nervous I hope my voice doesn't shake too much and receiving words of encouragement from Inna stating you'll still sound just as amazing you got this this as Mume received this a custom fan book replying to this reveal and saying will do my best not to ruin the pages with my tears while reading it after the stream sending out these brown hearts and then receiving this message you did amazing this year Mume congrats and here's to another fun year year together. That, of course, being from Hall Live English's Mori Calliope, performing her unarchived karaoke stream a day after needing to delay it due to passing out, then noticing the runtime of her stream and saying, yeah, real sorry, you guys might have missed my longest stream ever, but you know, rebroadcast next week, then another one next millennia, with Vishojo's Zentreya replying, these subathons are getting crazy. And also taking the stream for a long time is Series Fauna of Hall Live English, celebrating her one year with Hall Live with this 12-hour marathon stream, with not only Callie saying, you'll do great, Fauna, happy anniversary, but also fellow Hollow Council member Oro Crony saying, you're going to knock it out the park, you got this. Fauna would go on to show off her brand new background provided by 7M Digital. This lastly bringing us to Hecos Bells of Hollow Council, celebrating her one-year anniversary tonight, stating we did it, Bratz, thank you for the amazing year, which will then be followed up by this, posted to hashtag one rat year, Alice Magic would comment, Announcement, you guys. I had the honor of working with Bay and producing a fully animated music video for her new anniversary cover release. This was a huge, huge passion project, and I hope you all look forward to it tomorrow. Leading to Mume to say, You all are not ready for how amazing this is. And immediately leading to Bay to begin sobbing on Twitter. Next up with Hall Live Japan, we have a very quick update from Sharanoe Flair, stating to all those who have purchased the commemorative birthday goods, I'm really sorry that you have to wait a little longer because I found a a typo in the signature and had to rewrite the whole thing. I wish I had noticed it earlier, but it was only noticed to the end. I'm really sorry for making you wait. And the wait is almost over for the pop-up parade Tokino Sora figure, with her five-year anniversary coming up on September 7th, with Hall Live also telling us they have even new merchandise with Amazon. Yes, it's a new set of t-shirts from Hall Live's official anime series, Hollow No Graffiti, aka Hollow Gra. This says Hall Live has now officially rolled out this giant capsule machine that in celebration for their Hall Live summer event climaxing with the Climax Story Live coming up on August 31st and promising performances from 35 Hall Live talents. One of those expected to be Aki Rosenthal recently releasing a brand new beverage which would then be sold out in 11 minutes. Saying further through this translation from Kevin Klein, I can't hide how shocked I am at the speed it's sold out. I'm so happy. On the other hand, seems like there's a lot of 
people who couldn't buy it and then hinting at a second run. That is, we also check in with Yazora Mel, who along with Aki right now has come down with COVID-19. Leading to Mel to update us, her fever has now gone down, is receiving loads of support from Hall Live members, and even a special message from overseas viewers. Leading to Mel to tweet out, thank you all to the Kai Guy Niki. I hope to see you all soon, so take a lot of rest now and get well soon. And now we're back with Enigami Korone, Hall Live's number one Sonic the Hedgehog fan, and who is collabing even further with Sega, who has announced this collaboration between Korone and the upcoming Sonic Frontiers game. Promising DLC, including sound effects of Korone in the game, an acrylic panel, special shoes, and even changing the mascot characters to look like her fans. That all happening while we got a look at this. That's right, it's the Hello Kitty Cross Sonic the Hedgehog Cosplay Plush. That coming to us from the Sanrio Plushies account. Highly recommended. And that's not all for Hall Live and Sega collaborations. Following up with Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. Showing off this collaboration with Shirakami Fubuki, Nina My Ininus, and of course, yes, Hall Stars Shien. Even leading to an unofficial Holograw episode, finally featuring a member of Hall Live English. That is, we have news from Cosplay Mania, deeming itself the biggest and most prestigious anime and cosplay convention in the Philippines. Now announcing that Muna Hoshinova and Pavolia Rainey of Hall Live Indonesia will be joining, having already confirmed the attendance of Ayunda Risu and Koreji Ali. Next up today, we turn to Etheria, an independent VTubing group, with one of their members being the Akamela Menace, now making this announcement that she is suspending all streaming activities until further notice, her final stream being scheduled tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. This VTuber would cite the reason for this indefinite hiatus being due to bullying and even threats and saying it is important for her mental health to take this break as her supporters are looking forward to sending her off on a good note tonight. Lastly, we turn to Bada and Bada Neko, a Twitch partner who earlier had <coughs> quite an ASMR stream and who has now been banned for the second time from Twitch.tv, citing the reason given was quote unquote engaging in sexual acts on stream for donations and being told where the violation occurred was in the stream title or bio with some speculating that this was due to her Patreon being linked in the bio. We also have a very quick reminder, Virtual Market 2022 Summer, aka VCAT, ends this weekend in VR chat. There are even models on sale made by Best Girl Rubico's character illustrator. Once again, VR chat is free and even works on desktop without the need for a VR headset. Once again, Virtual Market 2022 Summer ends August 28th. And yes, we have less than one week left. That being for the September 1st debut for our Kohai with both Cody and Heidi, our upcoming co-host of Things VTuber Say, set to debut once again September 1st, beginning at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on YouTube, and then joining us later at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Twitch. As we lastly say to Narcy, thank you, showing off these brilliant logos for the two and saying I had the pleasure of designing logos for Heidi and Cody of TVS. Looking forward to your debuts. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.